Dustin Bonk down with us in the lower peninsula here with the weather and uh, Dustin, the severe weather behind us finally it seems like but it gave us quite a show and now we've got some cooler temperatures it did it was a busy active forecast for the day we had a lot of those thunderstorms pop up throughout the entire afternoon and evening and you know what you're right it is going to be much cooler out there it's already cooler out there t t tonight if you're stuck outside <laughs> and tomorrow Start shivering it's not feeling very summery tomorrow uh -oh. well first <laughs> off have a look at our local radar where we can see that there's still some storm activity but it's all well off to our east it's moving away from us and overhead we have some partial cloud cover there are some breaks in the cloud clouds and a few light drizzles still coming down around parts of mid-Michigan, but oh, look at that mess from earlier. Just kept coming and coming. Well, now it's finally done, like I said. Let's zoom out and you can see it's now moving off to our east and it's still actually quite strong in some spots, but less severe now as of course the day is cooling down. Off to our west, much clearer and calmer weather and that's going to be a sign of our Monday forecast. Monday will be cooler and drier, maybe not perfectly sunny by any means, but more so than what we saw today. On an even wider view, the national radar is showing uh, kind of a mixed bag of things. A lot of the central plains is actually quite calm right now, and the main area of interest is now that same system. That's now, of course, moving over to the east coast. That big jumble of severe weather now weakening, but it still stretches as far south as Pennsylvania, West Virginia. West Virginia had some very severe weather today. Otherwise, Ohio is kind of also in the clear, just like Indiana and Lower Michigan, of course. Well, that system continues to spin on and will give some more rain over to the northeast as we get into tomorrow's forecast. But let's have a look at our own future cast. This low pressure system, like I said, moving on away from us and taking the rain with it. We could catch a few light sprinkles overnight tonight and into early tomorrow morning, but the storm activity is pretty much over and done with. We'll see some lingering cloud cover. I think this models holding onto the clouds a little bit too much. I think we'll start to break up by the time we get towards tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon as well. Most of Monday should be on the sunny side and especially getting clearer late Monday night into early Tuesday. But, nah, well, it doesn't stay that way for too long. Tuesday is going to see a few more clouds, maybe some partial sunshine, but a little bit of rain and thunder shower activity in the afternoon for Tuesday when it starts to warm up a bit. And that'll be the story for almost every day, Tuesday all the way through to next weekend. And we have a bit of a chance for rain almost every day in the seven day, except for tomorrow. Well, high temperatures today were warm, seasonably warm, that is, and along with that humidity, it was kind of a moist, hot day for some folks. It actually got up to 87 Hastings in cold water, uh, up to 81 Lansing and 85 Jackson. Now these temperatures have dropped considerably behind that system, already down to 60 across parts like Charlotte, Mason, 61, and Jackson. It's going to be a cool night tonight, at least cooler than what we've been experiencing earlier today. It's, so it's all about that perspective. It just feels cooler out there. Our temperatures tonight, this model is keeping us a bit too warm. We're already below this temperature. I think we'll be into the mid to upper 50s for most of us. But by tomorrow, we'll be right back up to around 70. Some of us, if those clouds don't break apart, will stay in the upper 60s only for high temperatures tomorrow. So well below normal when we should be seeing highs in the low 80s. And then it gets even cooler, back down to near 50 late Monday night into early Tuesday. And Monday will be the coolest day. We warm up a little bit for the second half of the week, but not by much. We'll still be below average the entire extended forecast for tonight down to about 58 degrees and that's kind of a median temperature. Some of us might hold on to 60, some of us might get down to the mid 50s. We'll be clearing up a little bit, not really much in the way of any rainfall tonight. Tomorrow maybe some early rainfall and clouds, but we'll see more sun later in the day. High of 70 degrees and it warms up steadily towards next weekend, but like I said earlier, not by much. It'll still be below average this week with a chance for rain each day Tuesday through to next weekend. But Lauren, it's not any major systems. It's not like what we saw today. The week ahead is kind of just one big system sitting right overhead, and it's just going to give us a little bit of a mixed rain Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Right, and as you said, it's all about perspective, what a lot of us wouldn't have given for 50 degrees uh, when winter was starting to turn into spring, yeah, huh? really, but when it should be in the <laughs> low 80s, suddenly 70 for a high, that's not so nice. It's not very summery, not good beach weather. By right, any not means. at all. Well, we're glad to see it hopping back up there before long. Yeah. Thanks, Dustin.